Hello everyone, Father Brett here. It's always good to be able to be with you and to spend a bit of time with you discussing all sorts of wonderful things about our faith. But our faith is not an isolated thing. It is a faith that is lived in the concrete, the here and now. And as we have been making our way through this Advent time, we've been looking at Pope Francis's latest encyclical, Fratelli Tutti, and it has come out strongly that our faith is about our relationship with Jesus Christ, but also our relationship with others. And it is for this reason that I am speaking to you today. As you are no doubt aware, KwaZulu-Natal, our province, has seen a dramatic increase in the coronavirus infection. And in our own city, it is even higher. This has made a number of people anxious, nervous and concerned about the future, concerned about interacting with others. I would like to let you know that I too am concerned. I have consulted with Father Mjengaseni and the parish leadership, the executive of the parish, pastoral council, as well as my senior leadership team. We've had a Zoom meeting this afternoon and we have agreed on the following. It is with a heavy heart that we make these changes, but we do so for your safety, for the safety of the staff here in the parish, and of course, the safety of the parish clergy. The changes are tomorrow, Tuesday, 9 a.m. Mass will be in person and live streamed. It will be the last in-person weekday Mass until further notice. In other words, all weekday Masses in person are suspended. Masses will be uh, live streamed on Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. and Thursday morning at 9 a.m. So what does that mean for this week? This Tuesday, tomorrow, will be the last in-person Mass. We will live stream it too. Wednesday morning, Mass will be said in private. Thursday morning, Christmas Eve, the last Advent Mass of the season, will be live streamed at 9 a.m. No in-person attendance. The Christmas Mass schedule remains the same. 4 p.m., 6 p.m., and then on Christmas morning, 7 a.m. and 7, 9 a.m. Boxing Day, St. Stephen's Day, the 26th. Mass will be in person at 5 p.m. to celebrate the Holy Family. And then on Sunday morning, Mass at 9 a.m. only, in person and live streamed. There will be no 7 a.m. Mass. And then Monday through to the 1st of January, Friday the 1st, Mary the Mother of God, there will be no in person Masses. Masses will be live streamed at 9 a.m. on Tuesday and Thursday in the octave, as well as Friday the 1st, Mary the Mother of God, the last day of the octave of Christmas. So three live streamed Masses during the octave. We will assess the situation again. And I will let you know what the mass schedule will be 
for the first weekend in January, the solemnity of the Epiphany of our Lord. We will keep you informed. Dear friends, it's not easy, it's not pleasant to have to make these reductions to in-person masses. But no, the church is going to be open for certain in-person masses, and I've outlined those. We're not closing the church completely. If you do come to Mass in person, you are asked to make sure that you book. We will accept no uh, drop-ins just off the street. You have to book. You will be required to wear a mask at all times, covering your nose and your mouth. Even if you are wearing a face shield, you will wear a mask underneath a face shield. You are to sit socially distanced and when you leave Mass after Communion, the, we ask you please to not stop and talk to anyone. To move out of the church towards the parking lot and your car and to depart without gathering in groups. I know this goes against everything we've been trying to do and build here in this parish. But for the safety of our brothers and sisters, we really need to make this sacrifice. The other thing I would like to make very clear, anyone who has been in contact with someone who is positive and exhibiting systems, uh, symptoms should not come to Mass. If you are sick yourself, you should not come to Mass. Please do not put others at risk. If you are elderly, vulnerable with other comorbidities, please do not come to Mass. We are so fortunate that we've done such a lot of work at making sure that we are a community that is also online. We have an online campus. Please make use of that online campus. We will continue to put reflections and masses um, and all sorts of other things online. Please make use of those. If you need us for anything, please do not hesitate to phone the office or to send us an email and we will be there for you. We do not want to be disconnected from you. But in the light of the tremendous surge in coronavirus cases, we really have to be careful and cautious. And so I encourage all of us to do so. I'm sorry to be, be the bearer of sort of bad news, but we trust in the Spirit. We trust in the presence of God. And no matter what they say, Christmas is not cancelled because God is with us and we need him more than ever at this time. God bless you all. Take care. And I hope to see you for the Christmas Masses. Bye-bye.